Hello everyone and welcome to the showcase video for the program that we wrote in episode 2 of Discovering Computer Craft. And so this program was a th program that would make a 3x3 three three tunnel. Pretty much. Oops, and I need to get the disc. Here we go, got the disc this time. Um, so to set this up you need to make a 3x3 three three spot for him to start digging, that torch will wreck it and put your disk on the side here. I'm just going to, going to show you the program here. So this is the program. It's a bit more complicated than my last one. That's definitely true. So we've got a various functions here including make wall. This will detect whether there's whether he needs to place a block like whether the walls of the tunnel I'm not explaining this very well, but whether the walls of the tunnel are solid. And so that means water won't leak in like my last program. Select glass. This is part of in inventory management. And this will select the glass blocks. Renew glass will um, renew the amount of glass blocks he has in his inventory, which is a pretty cool system. I'm pretty proud of it. Select glow is the same thing, and renew glow is the same thing, but with glowstone. Select chest. Selects the chest. Collect chest. Collects the chest. Pretty much they're pretty self-explanatory. Forward is the main the main function here, obviously. And then I've just got the main body of the code that has a, pretty much a loop. So let's get out of that. And I, to set this guy up, you need to put an ender chest here, an ender chest here. You need to put... Actually, I need to make another one of those. Um, you also need to put a piece of glass here. Oops. And a piece of glowstone in here. Actually I think it's glowstone glass, yeah. So I'm going to put a chest in here to show you guys what I've got inside the end of the chest. Blue, blue, red is the one I was using. So I've got a random item here. I just used chain boots because I could, but any random item will work. And a whole heap of glass and glowstone in its inventory. It doesn't matter what order these go in because I've written the code so it will pick it up the right way. And I think we can get this guy started. So let's go CD disk tunnel. Oops. Oh, something weird's happening. I'll be back. Ooh, I just found something that's actually not a good thing with the code. I've got this wireless modem on the slide, and that's blocking the turtle from reading the disk. And so it has to be a regular turtle, and a, a wireless mining turtle will not work. Just a regular mining turtle. It could be a crafty mining turtle, it doesn't matter which. I'm going to reset him up again. So, ender chests like that. A piece of glowstone and a piece of glass. So now I can go CD disk. And I can type tunnel. Now I get asked a question, enter how many blocks forward you would like to mine. I want to mine 64 blocks forward because 64 is a good number. And I'll press enter. So he'll start working, and as you can see, oh, he just placed the ender chest down and collected some glowstone. Wow. And now I can see he's now moving forward. So what happened there was pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, yes, he collected, he put down the ender chest, collected some glass until he got some glass. So he'll go through the chest until he gets glass. And then he picked the ender chest back up, and everything's still in the right slot. And so he, when he starts running out of glowstone or glass, he will refill himself which is a functionality that I love. And so, um, every six blocks I think it is, he puts a row of glowstone up here to make it look pretty. And if there isn't a block there, we'll do this. Oh, of course. He'll put glass there. Which can make for some cool tunnels if you go through a ravine or, or a cave or something like that. So I will be back once he's made some progress and you'll be able to see that he doesn't have any bugs. And of course he's got things like gravel detection and stuff like that. And if I take a lot of this glass out of his inventory... Actually no, I can take it all out because it won't ruin anything. I'll chuck glass back in here. So next time he needs to build a wall... Actually, I think he'll do it at the start of the function. Oh, oops, there's no glass. Let's pick up some glass. And continue on. Haha, <laughs> I love it. Anyway, so I'll be back with some more... something else to show you. So he's dug out a little bit more of the tunnel now, and we've got... we've hit a ravine here, which 
which I did plan ahead. Ha ha ha. Um, as you can see, this is actually looking pretty cool. Got some glass, a uh, glass tunnel. It'll be perfectly safe for mobs and weather and all that. And because of this tunnel, that that means no water will come in, so that's a good thing. As you can see, he's still got plenty of glass. And yeah, he's working perfectly. So there's not much else more to show you except that he'll finish on 64 blocks. So I'm going to wrap this up here. I'll go save, exit, and I'll say paste bin put tunnel. And now this will be available for you guys to download. Just remember to set him up the way that I showed you with the 3x3 to start off with, the disc in the upper right corner. He can't be a wireless turtle and to make his inventory look the way I've already showed you. So all you have to type is make sure you have you have your HTTP enabled, HTTP enabled in your computer craft config. And then all you have to do is type paste bin get capital A5 capital E B capital V B capital G H and it will download to your computer and you'll be able to use the same program. So I hope you guys enjoyed this program. I hope most of you actually watched it. And I'll see you guys next time.